Hello, in this guide I'll show you the new natural and world wonders in Brave New World. So first is first, we'll start off with Burro Badur. And then it is a medieval era wonder that will help in a faith related way. It'll grant you plus five faith and it can only be built in a holy city and grants three missionaries. Great wonder if you are seeking to cover the world with your religion very quickly. Also, Burro Badur is located in Ind Indonesia. And this is a great uh, wonder to get if you are a religious kind of civilization such as the Byzantine, the Celtics, um, and then there's really not any heavy religious um, civilizations in Brave New World, but perhaps maybe Poland or some other one if you just happen to get um, religion or you're just a player who likes to intertwine religion with your game, which is a very good idea to do if you are able to do so. And the next one will be Broadway. Broadway is a world wonder that is completed in the modern era. It'll give you one free great musician appears near the city where the world wonder was built. And it contains three slots for great works of music and is located in New York City, New York. And then uh, this will cost you 1060 production. You also need the radio. And then again, you'll get those three great works, which is fantastic for those looking to win a cultural victory. You partner up Broadway with some of the other things, such as, I'll give you an example, like part, pan, Parth, Parthenon, which I'll talk about in a little bit as well, and uh, the Fizi, which also I'll talk about. Partner that one up with those older ones, and you pretty much have won a cultural victory already because of how many great work slots you've got. So the next one I shall talk about will be the Globe Theater. And once I find it here, there we are. It'll cost 500 production, and it gives you plus two culture, and then it's a world wonder that is completed in the, in the Renaissance era, and then it gives you a free great writer appears near the city where the wonder was built. It'll contain two slots for great works of writing located in England. And then again, these two writing slots mixed in with some of the other buildings that I've just talked about. If you somehow or another get all of them, you, my friend, have already won a cultural victory just because you've got so many slots to fill and everybody will want to visit your nation and you will have tons of influence over them. And then again, next we'll start the Parthenon. And then the Parthenon is a world wonder that is completed in the classical era through drama and poetry and it contains a pre-built great work of art in the great work slot that's located in Athens, Greece. So again, it says it has a slot that's going to be filled up automatically as soon as you build this bad boy. It'll cost you 250 production and plus four culture is what you'll gain as well. It's a very important building to build whether if you're starting off and you really are looking for a cultural victory. It's a highly important one, um, but if you don't get it, don't fret. You don't need to start the game over just to get this because it's not the end of the world. You can get some of the other ones that I have just mentioned. So don't worry in that regard. And now the next one will be the Prora probably pronouncing that wrong as well, just like everything else. <laughs> it'll cost you 1060 production, and it's a world wonder that is completely in the modern era. It'll require autocracy, so you must fill out the autocracy um, ideology tree in order to start building this guy. In addition to the plus two happiness, the Pura Resort also provides plus one more happiness for every two policies you have adopted. Plus one free social policy it must be constructed in a coastal city, and it's located in Rügen, Germany. Um, so really there's a lot of limitations to this one. You must have you know, a coastal uh, tile, your city that is. You also need autocracy, so you'll need a bunch of prerequisites just to build this bad boy, which is somewhat of a good thing, so that way the AI is not always able to get this before you if you are lagging behind in technology. Um, and then you'll get tons of benefits with this guy as well. And the next wonder will be the Red Fort. It costs 625 production. It's a world wonder that is completed in the Renaissance era. It's a defensive building in all cities are 25% more effective in defense, and it's located in Delhi, India. And then you also get plus one culture. There's your defense, 12. And then you'll get great scientist points as well. So that one's a, it's a good one if you're getting attacked. Um, it's more situational than anything else. And then the next one will be the Ufizi that I was just talking about. It'll cost you 625 production. It's a world wonder that is completed in the Renaissance era. It requires aesthetics. One free great artist appears near the city where the wonder was built. It will contain three slots for great works of art. It's located in Florence, Italy. Italy. Now, again, these aren't filled up as soon as you build it, so you will have to fill it up with great artists later on as you go on in the game. It will give you plus two culture. It's a fantastic building, again, if you're looking for a cultural victory. Just like most of these... Um, 
things are, you're going to want to have a cultural victory with these. And now I'll talk to you about some of the national wonders. The East India Company is completely new, and remember, with the national wonder, anybody can build these. You just have to have a prerequisite of certain things. So it'll cost you 125 production. Only available in the medieval era and earlier starts, you'll need to make sure you, that you have a market built alongside having the guild's tech re researched. And remember, those markets you need it in every city that you own in order to do this. And then you'll obtain plus 2 happiness, plus 4 gold, and trade routes other players make to the city with an East India Company will generate an extra 4 gold for the city owner, and the trade route owner gains an additional 2 gold for the trade route. And this used to be located in Asia and some other... all across the globe, really. Um... They made tons of money, just like you will if you build this. And I highly recommend building it early on, so that way you get the most out of your trade routes. And if you pair this up with commerce with social policy tree, you get tons and tons and tons of gold. And the next one will be the Artist's Guild. Once I find it here, I might just have to type it in. Um, I'll only talk about the Artist's Guild and not some of the other ones, because they tend to be a little bit the same. And then the Artist's Guild will cost 150 production. And then it'll give you two great person points towards a great artist. Add up to two specialists to the bu this building to gain culture and increase the rate of great artist acquisition. Three culture and three GPP per specialist. So again, um, not going to go over some of the other ones, such as the Writers Guild and the Musicians Guild, only because they're pretty much the same thing. Just instead of artists, you get musicians or writers and so forth. So it's exactly the same. You'll want to build all of them if you're looking for a cultural victory. Um, and then the next one that I didn't talk about, it's a world wonder, is the Statue of Zeus. Let me find it real quick here. Here we go. That will cost you 185 production. It is going to require the honor social policy track. All units gain a 15% combat strength when attacking cities. This is an this is added in if you not already have the World Wonders DLC pack. I did not have it, so it's kind of nice to have this. I never go down the honor social social policy track either. But for those looking for a uh, domination kind of victory, such as if you were playing Assyria or some other kind of civilization, this would not be bad just to put one point in the honor social policy track, get the Statue of Zeus, because that plus 15% combat strength when attacking cities is um, almost a must, to be honest. Um, if you get this, you can really dominate big time. So it's a big help if you are able to get this. And then the last two things I'm going to talk about is going to be Lake Victoria and King Solomon Mines, which are both natural wonders that you just kind of find sprawling throughout the tiles if you're lucky enough. So Lake Vic Victoria, there we go. And then it will yield you six food. And then it's impassable and it doesn't have a combat modifier either. This is really all it does. I would recommend building a city near it if it's near a lot of grasslands and rivers. That way you are able to have a giant city just because you're next to this lake. And then lastly is going to be the King Solomon Mines. Solomon, that should be, there we go. And then yield 6 production, and again impassable and a combat modifier of 0%. Again, same deal, if you're near a lot of mountains, uh, some grasslands, and you find this bad boy hanging around, if you find this bad boy hanging around anywhere, you'll want to build a city near it, because that city will produce like no other. It's a great addition if you get a city next to it early on, so I do recommend that. And that's going to do it for the new natural and world wonders of Brave New World. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the length of it. Sorry for not showing uh, any like in-game content. But this is just an explanation of the units and the buildings and all that. So I'm glad you went through it all with me. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. If you're looking at this on uh, YouTube, please check out the description. There's a link to my Steam Guides, which all of this is linked up to. And then also, if you're looking at this on Steam Guides, please go into my YouTube channel, subscribe, check out some of the other stuff I got on my YouTube channel. I knew you guys would like it. So thank you for watching.